active investigation, Gib. It is, you know, detectives and police are out here at the home now and telling us, unfortunately, that a woman is dead and that her husband was the one who shot her. As you can see, they want to figure out why and how this all happened. According to the Buckeye police, they say that a woman's husband walked into the police station around 445 this morning to tell them that he had shot his wife. Now, when police made it out here to their home uh, to find her dead, investigators have been trying to figure out what led to the shooting. They say there was no one else inside the home. And Buckeye police want to remind you that if you find yourself in a bad domestic situation, there is help. What's important to know is that there are resources, many people out there that are ready and willing to help individuals. So if you are experiencing domestic violence or someone you love is experiencing domestic violence, please just give us a call. We have those resources and we are ready to, to guide individuals. Right now, they tell us that the couple were in their 50s and uh, they're looking to notify a next of kin right now as they continue to also interview the husband. Right now, they say it's still early in the investigation right now to tell what actually happened here in this home. All right, Gibby, thank you for that update. Appreciate it. Well, it's a first alert weather day right now. A flood warning in effect for an area near Cave Creek after this winter storm brought a lot of rain to the valley once wow. again overnight. Okay, so live images uh, from overhead from our Arizona Family News Chopper. A flooded wash there. Yet another reminder. I mean, the, you cannot go across this. We don't know what's under there. You, you don't, don't know how yeah. eroded that the roads are. So um, really have to drive right, home that morning. Turn Let's see around. see what it does. He's going to go right through it. So that obviously is just a few inches deep, but you just never know, though, you right? You do not know. How many yeah. times have we seen it over the years where mm. somebody, uh, you know, they tempt, tempt mm -hmm. fate and then they get washed down the And we know that they water. can be billed for it if they need that rescue now, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, there's no barricades here, so yeah, that's it, true. It, I think you get in, in trouble um, if there's if a barricade yeah. right. that you, yeah. that you yeah. actually go around. Yeah. Still, it's not smart. Um, you're yeah. right about that. It's not great because for the car. It's not good for a car. You really cannot tell how deep that is. And and uh, the, you know, the depth of that can change very quickly. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with water that's coming down from the mountains in that area and uh, picking up as it heads downstream. So that can pick up from, you know, an inch to, you know, three, four, five inches very, very quickly. And we know that it only takes a couple. Whoa, that guy was flying wow. through that. Wow. Hey. Wow, they didn't even slow down. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were all kind of like, what's happening so here? I mean, I would slow chopper. down a little bit. <laughs> when the chopper cut out. Okay, well, we'll be bringing you, I think, more shots from that area. Here, here's the area included um, in that uh, flood warning. So this is just north of town. Here's the uh, Carefree Highway in the I-17. So it's Cave Creek. It's Carefree. And this is a very mountainous area, again, where they've seen a lot of rain over the last couple of days. Indications are that we've seen at least an inch in Cave Creek and Carefree, so probably more up there in the mountains and all of that kind of funneling down into some of these washes, creeks, rivers that are picking up. So this is in effect, this flood warning until 945 this morning. We also have a flood warning. For the Tonto Basin, that's the Tonto Creek. We've uh, talked a lot about this very dangerous area where, again, you really are, are discouraged from crossing there. It can be a life threatening. And then we also still have a winter storm warning in effect for a huge chunk of our state. Everywhere here highlighted in pink through tonight. And this is really the reason that we're keeping this a first alert weather day because the rain is done for the valley. But in the high country, the snow keeps falling and we've had incredible snowfall. And we also have some wind out there making it a little bit difficult to, to see some visibility reduced in some areas. Here's the heaviest of the snow right now. It's mainly across eastern Arizona. And by the way, this is all the rain that pushed through in the overnight hours, too. It's all off to our east right now. On the backside of that cold front, it's breezy out there. Um, it's fairly cool, upper 40s, low 50s. And we're seeing a little bit of a break from the snow that's been falling in flag stuff. Still a little bit more possible today with that winter storm warning in effect. Let's toss it up to uh, Ian, who is live this morning in Flagstaff. Uh, and uh, he's been up there for three, four days. So you've been uh, counting and measuring all 30 inches that have been falling of this is snowfall day. It's still coming down. Look at that. <laughs> it's still snowing, and this is the first time that we've had a really great view with the sun up. You know, we've been under clouds for a long time. But look at this. This is relatively undisturbed. Uh, this is not plowed, and it is knee 
deep. There is so much snow in Flagstaff. It is absolutely stunning to see this. Tons of these cars are absolutely smothered and covered. Look at this one coming through. He might need to clean the windshield just a tad more. I guess there's a little tiny opening for them to see out of. I've talked to a lot of the students here. Uh, many of them have already moved in. They got the job done, uh, and they're all heading to the mountain. I don't blame them. There's going to be some phenomenal snow. Look at that, <laughs> Look at that car. I think his gas mileage went down uh, as far as all the snow is concerned. And this is beautiful. Look at this truck. Now, this truck, um, I think, was cleared because this is probably from yesterday and overnight. Just a ton. And truck and car after car, that is all you're seeing. One of those uh, students who is going to head up to the mountain. And what a perfect day to do it is Liam. Thanks for joining us. You're from Huntington Beach. And what did you just say a second ago to me that this is the most? This is absolutely the most snow I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, how would you describe the past couple of days? Uh, they've been pretty wild. I drove up uh, two days ago. It was quite a, quite a mission. Going up the 40 was a little hairy, but we made it nice and slow. So not long ago, you were uh, you know on the beach, and you had sand and sunshine, and now you're dealing with this. Yeah, went from quite, quite so nice and sunny. This is quite a change up, but it's going to be fun. Class got canceled today, so we're heading up to the mountain. Perfect day to do it. There's 30 inches in town. What are you expecting when you get up to the mountain? Uh, I got no idea, but I'm ready for it. Oh, my gosh. Boarding or skiing? Boarding. Okay. Uh, helmet or no helmet? Oh, always a helmet. Okay, good. Oh, uh, well, I was kind of gauge how fast you go. I'm, I'm on, like, the bunny hill, so I don't yeah. really do that. But, well, fantastic. Thanks for chatting with yeah, us. Of Liam, criminal justice major. They got lots of folks out here doing this. They're clearing the roads, getting things ready and operational. They've done a really fantastic job in and around the area, uh, keeping things looking good out there. But tons and tons of snow in the Flagstaff area. We're going to be working this morning. Oh, and look at that. They're trying to keep things uh, clear so folks can get into the uh, gym and the facilities here. But very, very impressive. It's been a long time since I've seen a good snowstorm like this in Flagstaff. I think maybe 2017 wow. where we were measuring this much snow. Just absolutely amazing. And that mountain is going to be perfect oh, for snowing, so uh, snowboarding, or skiing. Yeah. He's so cool. going to be offered the key to the city or the snow <laughs> shovel to the city by yeah. the time this is all no done, right? Doubt. <laughs> the snow shovel, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the honorary mayor. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of Flagstaff, Flagstaff City administrative offices and non-essential facilities are closed today because of the weather and the poor road conditions. They will reopen tomorrow, we're told. Meantime, residential trash and recycling resumes today after being suspended yesterday to focus on the snow plowing efforts. Well, we've got a first alert in your first alert traffic report. Uh, this is a live look at the I-40 in the Seligman area, and you can see how icy it is. Not nearly as much snow on the ground as Flagstaff, but again, the roads are icy, and now the I-40 is shut down just a little bit west of here because of a crash. Is it because of the roadways in the six? It's hard to say. We don't have those exact details, but from the Hastings and Hastings Traffic Center, mapping it out for you, it's going to be I-40 uh, I eastbound, so that's heading uh, towards Flagstaff. That is the side that is is closed. It's going to be closed before you get to that Seligman turnoff. Uh, and ADOT still reporting snow and ice on the I-40 from Williams all the way across to Winona, I-17 South, uh, down to about Stoneman Lake. A second closure, uh, the 89A here in Sedona because of a rock slide. And then the third closure, the 64 here along the Grand Canyon. In eastern Arizona, we are looking at snow and ice along the 87, the 260 all the way along the rim and then over into the White Mountains. We do have one accident where a vehicle slid off the roadway here in the valley boy we have returned to a regular rush hour brand new accident in the far west valley that is the i-10 at avondale boulevard in the next traffic report i'll update some drive times with that accident but this accident here on the 51 southbound at coulter has caused some really really big backups uh, the drive times dissipating a little bit on the 51 but still significant shade to the bottom of the freeway 21 minutes right now all right, Gina, thank you. From the valley to the high country, Arizona's family has you covered. You'll want to download our free AZ Family First Alert weather app. Use your phone's camera to scan the QR code right there on your screen. So easy and find it, or you can find it in the Apple App Store or on Google Play.
Good morning, everyone. Tess here in the newsroom with some of the top stories we're tracking here at your 8 o'clock hour. One man in the hospital right now after being stabbed overnight. So this happened near 7th Avenue and Broadway. Police say when they got to the scene, they found the victim with several stab wounds. He was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. The good news is he is expected to survive. Investigators say he was involved in some type of a fight with the suspect who then took off. We've reached out to Phoenix Police and we'll share information on who they might be looking for once we get it. The Arizona Cardinals taking quick action, naming a new general manager. For the first time in 28 years, they're actually going outside of the organization for the hire. Monty Austinfort has worked in the NFL, though, for 21 seasons, so lots of experience working his way up from the director of college scouting to personnel assistant in 15 years with the Patriots, helping the organization, as you know, win four Super Bowls. And Bissell, listen up, recalling more than 60,000 vacuums because of a fire hazard. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the battery pack on its cordless multi-surface wet-dry vacuums can overheat, start smoking, and even lead to a fire. So far, reports of five fires, three of them causing minor property damage and one instance, one person was burned. If you have any of these recalled vacuums, stop using them immediately and contact Bissell for a free battery pack replacement. And that's a look at some of the top stories we're following. Guys? All right, Tess, thank you. Well, it's Taco Tuesday with a twist. We're going to take you to the kitchen with the Spaghetti Shack. They are going to show us their take. This sounds amazing. Spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos. Thanks for watching Arizona's Family 3 TV. Whether you're headed up north or enjoying the valley sun, staying aware and being prepared to keep your family safe. Hear about it first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. Arizona's Family News is sponsored by Discover Flagstaff, Arizona's destination for all seasons. I'm on my way to yoga, and the next thing I know, I have a downward facing dodge. I just call 1 800 the Eagle and get a free case review. I should be bent out of shape, but I've got Goldberg and Osborne. Go with Goldberg and Osborne. 1 800 the Eagle. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Growing up, my mom worked three jobs to save our house. She's the most important person in the world to me. When she moved into her new house, I replaced all the parts the builder had put on with parts that were built to last. Because the garage door is the smell of your home, don't wait. Call A1 today for all your garage door needs and you'll be smiling today. Take advantage of our $129 winter tune-up special that includes a new bottom rubber on your garage. I still want to buy your house. The Valley real estate market is changing quickly and prices are falling fast. Thousands of homeowners who thought their homes were sold are having those contracts canceled by fly-by-night investors. This is not how I do business. When I sign a contract with you, it's a done deal. I'll put up $5,000 to guarantee that I will not change the price or cancel the contract. Sell your house for a fair price with peace of mind that the deal is done. DougHopkins.com, certainty in an uncertain time. Sales. Big O sales. Now buy three, get one free on select sets of in-stock tires with installation purchase. Plus, zero interest if paid in full within 12 months. Big O tires, the team you trust. You may have a few questions. Turn to Arizona's family on CBS 5 and 3 TV. We have you covered with the newcomer's guide. Go to azfamily.com to check it out. Sponsored by Scandinavian Designs Furniture. Modern style for every budget. If you or a loved one lived or worked at Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Toxic water contamination has led to death, disability, and disease. Don't suffer silently. Get legal help. Call Goldberg and Osborne. 1-800-THE-EAGLE. Welcome back. We love seeing pictures and video from you that you've been sharing with us uh, through Facebook or the AZ Family First Alert Facebook page, especially the ones with your furry friends enjoying the snow. They get so pumped up, right? Bruce Ertman sharing this video last night in Flagstaff. Bruce, thank you. Somebody's happy, huh? No doubt. Dogs love the snow. That is um, so fun to even see. a cocker spaniel. I mean, usually it's a Labrador or you <laughs> totally know something right, like that. Right. It's kind of funny to see a, a little a little uh, cocker spaniel. They're like, what is this stuff? <laughs> 
I love it. Okay, we just got word in on uh, just how historic this storm has been on this first alert weather day. Our third first alert weather day in a row. We're still seeing some light snow falling. Also a little bit of blue sky poking through in the Flagstaff area. How beautiful is that though? It really does look like a postcard or a painting. Current temperature 27 degrees with. Are you ready for it? 30 inches of snow. That's what we've seen total. And so when we look at uh, the uh, record books for Flagstaff, this now falls in the top 25 in terms of snowfall events. Now, technically, it was two storms, and technically, we also probably will add to this storm total today. So this could change. But at this point, we are at our 22nd greatest snowstorm in Flagstaff history. 30 inches of fresh snow. We're still waiting to get some updated totals in from other parts of the state. At last check, we had 27 at Snowball, and likely they've got a lot more than that by this point. And again, still adding to that, too. That's why a uh, storm warning is still in effect today uh, for the high country. Everywhere here shaded in pink until 11 o'clock tonight for Flagstaff. We could add another inch or two today uh, to that total. We've got just some light snow right now. We've uh, had a little snow throughout the morning hours so far. The heaviest stuff really is pushed over into the rim along the uh, 260 over toward the White Mountains, Sholo, Pine Top Lakeside over toward Greer and Sunrise Park Resort, where surely when we get the snowfall totals in from that area, they'll be pretty impressive as well. In the valley, we had some decent rain move through overnight between about a tenth to a quarter of an inch in most spots. That's to our east, and I think we're done. with rain at this point. This is a cold front that's pushing uh, off to the east of us and on the back side of the center of this low pressure system as we go forward in time. We still have a chance for some snow in the high country, but likely the deserts of the state we're going to see clearing blue sky, sunshine. Again, slight chance because you can see kind of how these showers skirt the north side of town. So it's another question. We could get an isolated shower or two in the valley, but for the most part, I think we're going to be dealing with sunshine and just some cooler air moving in now. It's a little breezy this morning behind that front as this continues to lift away from our state. This snowfall will wind down during the overnight hours, but again, winter storm warning until 11. Since we got a little bit of time, I'm going to take you forward in time past today into tomorrow. And it looks like things should be quiet for the daytime hours tomorrow. Then we head into tomorrow night and into Thursday. And here comes our next storm already Thursday night into Friday morning. Another quick shot of a couple of inches of snow in the high country and Friday morning in the valley, 20, 30% on our rain chances at this point. This moves out. Weekend. That's the good news here is that the week chilly but dry both Saturday and into Sunday. But as we head toward Monday, we're going to keep a close eye on this system because we think there's a chance that may actually bring some rain to Arizona, even though that particular model is not showing that. Uh, upper 50s today, first alert weather day. Again, the rain is done for the valley. This is mainly for the high country, a snow a situation that is ongoing with still some highways. Closed. Upper 50s tomorrow, 60 for Thursday. There's that rain chance for Friday morning. The weekend again. Fairly chilly. Those 30s during the morning hours, Gina, I'm going to be a little shocked. We've had some mild mornings lately, and then we may be looking at rain to start next week as well. Well, I wanted to share every, uh, with everybody the tweet that you actually found uh, from ADOT, and, and they tweeted it yesterday. Look at this. So it says this vehicle was abandoned sometime on Sunday along the State Route 260 here in eastern Arizona. A good reminder how quickly the snow can pile up during the storm. We're encouraging everyone to delay travel until the storms pass. In fact, let me zoom in. And somewhere in that pile there is a car that somebody abandoned on the side of the roadway. All right, hey, let's get you back here to the valley. We've got a lot to talk about in our traffic. I-10 and Avondale Boulevard, you can see this accident here is blocking an HOV lane and left lane. And then we've been keeping a close eye on the 51 and Coulter because of that crash. So let's start there. Shay to the bottom of the freeway, 21 minutes on the I-17. If you use that as an alternate, Cactus to the Stack, 19-minute drive time here. It's been slow across the north part of town on the 101, 51st Avenue to Tatum, 22 minutes right now. Here's the accident at Avondale Boulevard. We've got slowing that extends all the way back to Estrella Parkway. Once you get past that point, still really slow. A 101 to downtown Phoenix, 37 minutes. Taking you to the East Valley, we've been watching this spot. 101 northbound at McDowell. We had a crash here earlier. It caused quite a backup. Here's where the crash was. We still have very slow conditions. Ray Road up to Chaparral, 25 minutes. And the 202 Red Mountain Freeway, Country Club to the Mini Stack, 24 minutes. On the 60, still very slow through the Tempe portion. Gilbert to the I-10, 19 minutes. Is the Santan your freeway? This is actually pretty typical. Valvista to one one 14 minutes, but it's a little bit that slow of a drive time. And then out of Awatuki from Hastings Traffic Center, seeing 20 minute drive time from Ray Road into downtown Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, thank you very much.
very much. It is a Taco Tuesday, and uh, we're switching things up a little bit. You're never going to believe what's in these tacos. I, I, yeah, so it makes sense, right? We're in the kitchen with Spaghetti Shack. So Spaghetti Shack, Taco Tuesday, Spaghetti Tacos! This is crazy. Yeah, so we've got Joey Palomares, is that right? Yeah, Palomares. Palomares. <laughs> and Ashley here, so good morning to both of you, and, good, and welcome to the show. Joey, Thank when you. did you dream up this wild idea? You know, I've actually had the Spaghetti Taco idea since I was a kid. Really? For those of us who are around my same age, age we had iCarly, oh. and they used to do Spaghetti Tacos on that show. So when I had a Spaghetti oh, really? restaurant, oh. it was like a logical thing that we had to do. Okay. I think it's the best idea since bread. <laughs> Seriously. We've got that too. So. <laughs> I like yeah, that. he's not letting us down. We want yeah. something more traditional. I'll see some good garlic bread here. Okay, so how do we get going and then tell yeah, us about so where to find it? I'll show you how you. we make it. So we always start with our pre cooked pasta mm -hmm. that we then heat back up. Okay. And Ashley's over here working on the other side of it. So we're going to give this about Ooh. 30 seconds okay. to heat up. And then as we're doing that on this angle, Ashley is getting the meatballs ready. So okay. our spaghetti tacos are a meatball base. Mm -hmm. okay. So they're smashed up meatballs. You chop, We chop them up, smash them up, we can oh, get them really? in the taco shells. That's interesting. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add our spaghetti on top with mozzarella cheese. Tell nice. us about Spaghetti Shack as you're putting this together. Yeah, so Spaghetti Shack, we're a to-go pasta concept. We feature spaghetti, meatballs, garlic bread, um, some version of that. So we're a very simple menu. We're very affordable. We can feed a family of five for under $20. Really? Especially right now, not a lot That's of people fantastic. can say that. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. But yeah, we're a community focused concept, so we love to do a lot of work in the community. Um, but yeah, we've been open for about a year now. Good and for you. Are going good. Joey, and there's I can no one who doesn't like spaghetti right. and meat yeah. sauce and meatballs and all that. I can see the spaghetti shack all over the valley. That would be the goal one day. Okay. <laughs> World domination, Joey. Don't settle for just one the valley. One meatball at a time. <laughs> okay, so okay, so this is making more sense now that I'm seeing it in action because you got your meat base just like you would with any good with crunchy any taco. taco. Yeah. yeah. And then instead of just adding some cheese or some lettuce, because Scott doesn't like lettuce, we're putting the spaghetti right on top. Correct. I like lettuce. It's kale I don't like. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just, when I heard about this, I was like, I am in 110%. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seriously, that looks so amazing. Nice. So you come in, you, 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 do you get them made like this, or do you, and you only do this on Tuesdays? We only do this on Tuesdays. Or do Tuesdays. you just get the you know, all the parts and take them home and do it Oh, no, yourself. we make it and serve it right then and there. Okay. We are a takeout only concept. Um, but we do our spaghetti tacos made to order just like this in the store. All right. Can, I give, it, can I give it a whirl? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. oh my gosh. Oh, we would be so offended ready. if you didn't. Yeah. I've been waiting for this moment. And then we should point out, this is a nice, hearty, little delicious bucket. It's all warm and fantastic, right? You take this home, you're good to go. Yeah, absolutely. That's how we serve as our mid chef. Okay, mid chef. Uh-huh. Right here is our packaging for our small. This fits, fits two, Bob. You think this would be... Two? That's just, a lot of just spaghetti. one big bob, right? Just okay. one. I won't, I won't <laughs> take one it. Bob and five Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the people, right? By the way, I've died and gone to Hitler. Oh. This is amazing. Good stuff. Appreciate it. It is so good. Hey, we'll talk franchising in the commercial break. <laughs> Make Seriously. it happen, people. Make it happen. Congratulations. And tell me where you're located we are again. We're rural in Guadalupe and Tempe. Okay. We also have a ghost kitchen out in Queen Creek. So you can order our food for Tempe Fantastic. or Queen Creek. That means it's good super good. Guys. The Spaghetti Shack. Thank, Thank you so you much. For coming in. Happy Taco Tuesday. I love it. I have friends text me like the birthdays of someone they're just starting dating or they'll ask me about a job and like, would you know what's going on in my chart here? And I'm like, oh, I'll pull it up. Well, it's nice to have an astrologer on speed dial, but this week's podcast is the next best thing. Author and astrologer Valerie Tejeda up next. Do you know Tucker? Tucker Hill AC Plumbing and Electric. Time for Tucker.com. Phoenix Union is hiring. Join our growing district. Teacher pay starts at over $52,000 and support staff start at $16 an hour. Don't miss our job fair on Saturday, January 28th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Central High School. The scientists and engineers that support the next mission to Mars could be in this class. Getting a degree at ASU is a journey that can take you anywhere. Into a world of groundbreaking technology and renowned award-winning faculty. Professors who help you to impact the world. Whether you're on campus or at home, becoming your best starts with learning from the best. Experience matters. That's why I called Hastings and Hastings. At Hastings and Hastings, we are the discount accident lawyers with over 40 years experience. Our discount fee means more money for you. It's about time. 
as unique as yours, you need options. At Nationwide Vision, we've been eye care professionals for over 30 years and can help you find the perfect eyeglasses to fit your vision needs. Right now, you can get two pairs of eyeglasses for just $99.99, including no-line bifocals. Call 1-800-EYE-CARE or visit NationwideVision.com to schedule your appointment today. Nationwide Vision. Seasonal air conditioning maintenance from a Penguin certified technician is one of the best ways to save on utility bills and extend the life of your heating and cooling system. Call or visit us online today and schedule your seasonal maintenance for only $29. Phoenix Union is hiring. Join our growing district. Teacher pay starts at over $52,000 and support staff start at $16 an hour. Don't miss our job fair on Saturday, January 28th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Central High School. With, um, learning what helps make people tick just flourish in astrology. <laughs> a natural curiosity about people and a desire to better understand herself and others led Valerie Tejeda, a writer and journalist, to study astrology and tarot. And in the stars and the cards, she gains insight, a sort of cheat sheet into strengths, vulnerabilities, and what we all need to feel comfortable and content, and really an extra tool for communication, both personally and professionally. Valerie joined me for the podcast to talk about self-care by the signs, an audible original that gives simple and really helpful advice, sign by sign, to take care of yourself and others. For those of us who really feel funky every full moon, you know who you are, Valerie wrote another audible original called Self-Care by the Moon, and she doesn't just write about astrology. We also talked about a recent novel, a rom-com titled Good on Paper. And speaking of paper, astrologists like Valerie don't just look at one sign daily. They recommend getting your chart done to understand your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. It can get confusing, but here's one way to look at it. Sun sign is the main character, just like we have a main character in a book. So it's how you shine. It gets all the attention. It's the main character of your astrological story. Your moon sign is your inner self. It's your emotions, what you need to feel safe. And that's kind of like in a book, the world that the story is set in. So that's how you... Lots more to talk about. And uh, I don't know, does the astrological sign of your pet matter? Mallory answers that as well. So you can look for Olivia's Book Club wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, Stephen here in North Phoenix. Now, the valley saw a decent amount of rain uh, these past couple days, as seen by this wash. How is this impacting, though, our overall drought situation? A look at what we're tracking coming up. Whether you're headed up north or enjoying the valley sun, staying aware and being prepared will keep your family safe. That's why we're committed to being your first alert weather and traffic team. Be the first to know when your pets, plants, pipes, and precious ones need extra attention. Ice, snow, shut down roads. First alert gets you to where you need to go. Quickly and safe. If conditions can change your day, you'll hear about it first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Elantra. Get 2.9% APR for 48 months or up to 750 bonus cash on the Elantra. See your Valley Hyundai dealer. It's so nice living my life with no limitations. My legs feel like new and I'm sleeping through the night. I really feel like I have a new life with new legs. You don't have to live with the aching, swelling, and pain of varicose veins. At United Vein Centers, our minimally invasive treatments result in little to no downtime. And your treatment is covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most health insurance. Call 1-800-NEW-LEGS to schedule your free vein screening at one of our locations. Or visit us at unitedveincenters.com. I need help. The insurance company is being cheap. You need a lawyer that's relatable, that gets results. Need me, the anti lawyer lawyer. Price is wrong, Jake.
At California Closets, every project is a personalized experience. Custom designed, built, and installed by true craftsmen. We create exactly what you want. So your home office finally works for you. And the family room brings everyone together, even with the TV off. That's the California Closets difference. We call it practical magic. Start your experience with a free design consultation. Let's go! It's your journey. Own every mile in an available H-Track all-wheel drive Hyundai SUV. Get 0.9% APR for 60 months or up to 750 bonus cash on the Santa Fe. See your Valley Hyundai dealer. dealer. Up in Flagstaff, driving around up there. It's uh, that road doesn't look too bad, but there is so much snow up there. I'm sure the uh, Alice scoopers are working overtime <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that is pretty though. Uh, yeah, just take it easy wherever you're going this morning because you know conditions uh, may be a little challenging. Thanks for waking up with us here on Good Morning Arizona. The time now is 8:30. So let's check in with April to find out about that forecast. It looks like the rain is out of the valley, right? Yeah, the rain is done for us. It's still a first alert weather day, but mainly for the situation in the high country. We've got spots where snow is still falling. I wanted to start with a, a beautiful Ooh, view. Look at that. That, yeah. yeah. Picture, wow. Calvin Johnson sends us spectacular photos from the high country, mainly from the Flagstaff area, and that's gorgeous. But it reminded me of a tweet I just saw from ADOT uh, that said, you know, don't use your GPS to get around the road closures because they might try to take you on roads that are not maintained. They're really prioritizing where they're going to use those snow plows to get the main kind of arteries through town first. And some of these side roads, and maybe this is one of them, uh, is not going to be first to be plowed. So don't get stuck by taking one of these side roads that maybe your GPS is going to try to steer you toward. But that's a gorgeous shot. So thanks so much, Calvin, for sharing that with us. Here's a look at what's left of the rain and snow. So the main band from an early morning cold front that passed through the valley is off to the east right now. And that goes for the snow as well. This is right where the cold front is. There's still a little bit of snow in Flagstaff and we're going to see some redevelopment on the back side of this low today. So another one to three inches is possible for Flagstaff today with a winter storm warning still in effect. We've got several road closures still up there that Gina's going to tell you about coming up. But in the Valley Metro area, we're done with the rain. Uh, we've really just got uh, uh, clearing skies right now and cool temperatures. A little breezy in some areas too. Upper 40s to right around 50 right now around town. And here's where we're going to head for the rest of your day. The clouds clearing and we climb only to about 57 degrees. All right, April, thank you. So lots to talk about here in addition to the weather. We know it's been a busy winter across Arizona, a lot of rain, a lot of snow, and we're wondering, you know, what happens next? Well, you, we do know one thing. In the desert, every drop counts. So what does this mean for Arizona's overall drought situation? Stephen has been asking that question this morning. Yeah, I'm here at Moon Valley Park, so I can show you that, you know, with these winter storms, while the mountains saw a lot of snow, the valley saw some rain as well. Now, this wash I'm at, the water has gone down a little bit, but it's still a little bit high over the roadways. I just want to give you an example of how most of the state was impacted by these recent winter storms. And so let's talk about our drought situation. Right here, I have a time lapse of Arizona's drought which starts around this time last year. And as you see, as it progresses, the darker the shade, the worse the drought situation is. However, as we get towards the end of the year near December, after uh, monsoon season into the winter, we can see that things actually get a little bit better. And here are areas that are no longer in a drought. Now we've had that and that played a good role as well as a wet winter scene with these past couple days. Now, all this is definitely having a short-term impact on our situation. However, according to water experts with the state, we're not out of the woods just yet. The real thing to look at is into the spring, but any moisture is great. You'll see certain areas where runoff salt river, the salt river project system is always benefits and looks really good. Hopefully this uh, does well on the Verde. So systems like this are pretty much like a Band-Aid, granted a very good Band-Aid on our overall problem. We'll need many more systems like this to have a bigger impact, but more importantly, we need more water in our reservoirs up north, like at Lake Powell and Lake Mead. But in order for that to happen, we need our neighbors up north, like in Colorado, to also have wet winters. Back to you. Stephen, thank you very much. Time now is 834. 
Have you ever had days where you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you know, you just don't feel your best, you're in a mood, right? Sure. Uh, well, what's good for your body is often good for your mind, and uh, there are ways that we can kind of set ourselves up for success in 2023. Rochelle Ryan is a counselor and director of Behavioral and Integrated Health, and she is joining us this morning uh, to talk about uh, how we can stay motivated and on track for the new year. Because a lot of times people focus only on, say, one thing, maybe weight loss or, you know, reading more or one little thing, but sleep and exercise will improve pretty much everything else, right? Definitely. Um, sleep is just so important. It's when the body is able to restore, regenerate, and repair anything that happened the day before. So a lot of us think, oh gosh, you know, I don't have time to add more sleep to my routine because I can't get done what I need to get done on the little sleep I'm getting now. Uh, why is, is that recharge so critically important, even if, say, your to-do list is still long? Well, because that's just when the body regenerates. Um, having a great sleep schedule is one of the most important things people can do. Um, going to bed at the same time every day, making sure to get, you know, the eight hours of sleep. It's essential for both the mind and the body. I've heard many times that, uh, you know, people could really stay off of a lot of medications if they had a, a good sleep routine and a regular exercise routine. What does exercise do for our mood and for our sense of, of well-being? Well, exercise does absolutely everything. Um, it's good for, like you said, the mind and the body. Um, we think about exercise being great for the body, but it's also wonderful for the mind, too. And, you know, just starting small, maybe just going for a walk around the block, anything to get moving. Mm -hmm. um, what is, where is your practice? And tell me about kind of what does, what does um, a meeting or a session look like if somebody is trying to say, I just kind of want to like reset for this year. I just feel the ugh. <laughs> Yes, well, Jewish Family and Children's Service, we have um, sites across the valley for integrated behavioral and physical health. Uh, the site I work at is our West Valley site. We're at 95th Avenue in McDowell. Mm -hmm. Do you find that younger people, older people, or, or who have the hardest time um, changing our habits? I think we're once we get in a bad routine, it seems so daunting to try to shake things up. Um, you know, everybody. I think, you know, the longer we've been in a routine, the longer we've had a habit, you know, the more difficult it is to change. Um, but I think, you know, it can, it's difficult for everybody. We just have to, you know, get making small steps. As change. we wrap up, I want to mention uh, the other two recommendations, of course, focusing on a healthy eating habit and also making time for friends and family, meaningful time of connection. That can have such a huge impact on everything, right? Absolutely. We're, we are um, social beings. You know, the social interaction is so important. Um, time with friends and family or, you know, whoever we enjoy spending time with is really good. Well, thank you very much and a happy, healthy new year to you. Thank you, Olivia. Appreciate it. I gotta go to sleep. All right, still to come. In today's Finding Forever, we're gonna introduce you to a young man looking for a home, hopefully one with a dog. And if you love sports and you love trading cards, we are going to take you to a really cool shop that is just opening up here in Roosevelt Row. We'll also tell you which card here is worth $15,000. At United Vein Centers, our minimally invasive treatments for vein disease will have you back on your feet again, pain-free with legs that will feel like new. The treatments are covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most health insurance. Call us today to schedule your free vein screening at one of our locations. The world's greatest collector car auctions returns to Westworld, January 21st to the 29th. Join us as hundreds of vehicles cross the block. This automotive lifestyle event has something for everyone. For tickets, visit Barrett-Jackson.com. Get energized at Planet Fitness with tons of equipment. Get started for $1 down and then only $10 a month. Download the free PF app and join today. Offer extended through January 19th. When Lou Kern opened Coit in 1950, times were certainly different. While things have changed, one thing hasn't. 
Our commitment to help families, as well as businesses, enjoy healthier, safer environments. Our independently certified technicians clean, protect, and preserve carpets, upholstery, hardwood floors, natural stone surfaces, air ducts, tile and grout, and more. Call 800-4-COIT today for 40% off your next COIT cleaning. Another episode of Not Your Average Joe by Parker and Sons. I'm so glad you're here. RAC is making the craziest noises. Don't worry. I got this. Voted number one by consumers in ranking Arizona for 13 years running. You can trust Parker and Sons. I'm all done. The AC noise is fixed. If only you could help with this noise. Don't worry. I got this. Call Parker and Sons today. We're not your average Joe. We're playing golf right now. Do you wish you were watching football on a Sunday? Do you wish you were in Vegas on a boys' weekend? Well, you can with Healthy Home Flooring's $35 room sale. Buy new floors today. Install tomorrow. Up to 36 months, 0% interest, and you will make your wife smile. Happy wife, happy life with Healthy Home Flooring. Healthy Home Flooring. Call 623-404444 to get your healthy new floor delivered to your door. My treatment at United Vein Centers has literally changed my life. Spending the day on my feet now? Not a problem, thanks to United Vein Centers. For healthy legs that make you feel like new, schedule your few vein screening at one of our locations. ...is on YouTube, and you can win a TV. To enter, go to azfamily.com slash YouTube contest. Fill out your information and click the subscribe on YouTube button, then sign in with your Google account. The entry period ends January 20th at 5 p.m. Do you know Tucker? Tucker Hill AC Plumbing and Electric. Time for Tucker.com. Well, first alert day. Uh, Ian driving Ooh. around Flagstaff. He's been showing us all that snow up there. So it looks like cars are getting around okay. They're doing a good job on the streets up there. So you know it's They're really well cold when you that. can see all that blue sky, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But the clouds look gorgeous. Yeah. It looks really nice, but uh, I don't want to hop out of the car for any Yeah, errands. I'm with mm -hmm. you there. Gosh, just a couple of hours ago, the snow was really mm -hmm. coming down. Yeah, that's kind of shifted east, so it's coming down in eastern Arizona right now, but oh, gosh, I could just look at that all day. So pretty. Okay, if you want to see more shots like this, more great uh, photos, beautiful videos, go Love to see your pictures. By the way, you can also submit your pictures to us directly from our uh, AZ First Alert Weather app. There's a great, easy spot there to take them right from your phone and upload them to us. So here is a look right now from Flagstaff. Carrie Booth Miller says, beautiful morning for a walk in Flagstaff with some blue sky. And that is just so picturesque. I love it. Thank you, Carrie, for sharing that with us. Okay, you ready for this next one? It's pretty cute. Jang Salazar says, my granddaughter catching some snowflakes. Let's see if I can back this up in Flagstaff yesterday. <laughs> cute is she? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh right. <laughs> That's the best. Yes, that is the best. Cute. So cute. Okay, I want more videos like this and then more dogs, more kids <laughs> sledding and catching the snowflakes, just showing us the real joy of this winter storm. Okay, finally, we're going to show you the animals loving it. This is from Tony Wright. She said, we have about four more inches of snow overnight last night and we had some visitors this morning in Nutrioso. And yeah, he's posted a couple of videos here with the elk out and about this morning. So let's uh, go on over to the Chroma Key. I'll meet you over there. Nutrioso, by the way, is in far eastern Arizona. If you're looking at this map I've pulled up here of, of the White Mountains, where again, this is kind of where our latest snow bands are pushing through. Sholo, Pine Top as well, over near Greer and Springerville, just kind of south here of Springerville. That's where Nutrioso is uh, this morning. And yeah, they've already picked up four inches and we've got more snow heading your way. It's really picking up on the rim from the 260 over along Heber Overguard and over on that drive into Sholo, an area south of there. Uh, the Salt River Canyon Drive has got to be uh, beautiful, but I'm guessing a little bit uh, scary. A white knuckle drive for sure, which some of us will argue it is even without the snow. Uh, here's a look at the Flagstaff area. So we've still got a few bands pushing through, but it's easing up in general. And what we're going to see is kind of some wraparound moisture today, leading to some isolated showers in the high country and maybe some isolated showers in the valley. It's not uh, terribly likely for us. It's about a 10% chance for an isolated shower or two. We're pretty quiet right now. Our main band that pushed through was with this cold front that pushed through early this morning. We picked up uh, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain across the valley. 
now. So our storm total is right around about a half an inch for Sky Harbor. More in other areas. Winter storm warning continues for the high country, though, all the way through 11 o'clock tonight for the wind that we're seeing this morning right along that front and also the uh, couple of inches of snow that we're still likely to see in winter driving conditions, too, for sure. Here's a live look at Pine Top Lakeside in eastern Arizona. This is what the 260 looks like right now. It is beautiful, but we've got some wind rustling the trees around here. Not a lot of people on the roadways this morning. Um, in fact, I don't see any of the lights on here either right now. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that, but what we're looking at here is that this is going to intensify here as this front is pushing into eastern Arizona for the next couple of hours. Again, a couple more inches likely for northern Arizona. The wraparound moisture could bring some of these showers that are on the northern fringes of the Valley Metro area into town today. There's a slight chance for that, uh, but overall the storm is winding down for us today. It's a first alert weather day, mainly for this snow that is left for the high country. That's tonight. Going forward in time, I do want to peek ahead a couple of days and just show you that by tomorrow afternoon we're in the clear here but it's a short-lived break because Thursday night and Friday morning here comes the next storm system which again is going to bring a little bit more snow to the high country and a chance for valley rain on Friday morning the other impact of that and the next storm after that is going to just going to keep us cool around here we're really not going to warm back to normal anytime soon afternoon highs staying in the upper 50s low 60s the rest of this work week and heading into the weekend we see morning temperatures in the 30s and that's where they stay heading into next week. Well, April, you've got to see this shot here. Uh, first alert traffic report. We're taking you to the I-40 in Williams, and you can see the sun is starting to break through the clouds here. Uh, really pretty shot, and not so pretty if you have to drive on this. You can see just how slick the roadways still are at this hour. From the Hastings and Hastings Traffic Center, I want to take you to West Arizona here, Western Arizona, on the I-40, because we have two different closures, uh, real close to the 93, not too far away from Kingman, and then right there at Seligman, ADOT saying these are weather related there are either crashes or uh, the roads are just not in good condition and so they've decided to shut down the I-40. A third closure the 89A here in Sedona because of a rock slide and then the fourth closure along the Grand Canyon here State Route 64. Uh, in eastern Arizona still reporting snow and ice on the 87 north of Pine and Strawberry along the rim here on the 260 and throughout the White Mountains up through uh, Snowflake. Back here in the valley this accident has just this caused major headaches for the 51. It's at Coulter. It is on the right shoulder here. Still at this hour, shade at the bottom of the freeway, 16 minute drive time. On the I-17, still really slow as well. It's really late to see this uh, much of a drive time, this uh, slow of a drive time. Cactus to the stack, 17 minutes. 101 across the north part of town, still really slow from 19th Avenue all the way over to the Desert Ridge area. I-10 coming in from the West Valley, also really slow. Our, our, our rush hour is extending, it feels like. 101 to downtown Phoenix, 33 minutes. Uh, here here in the East Valley, US 60 at Mill Avenue. This crash here is on the left side of the freeway. Uh, at this point, we're winding down from the rush hour here. Gilbert to the I-10, 12 minutes. 101 northbound, Ray Road up to Chaparral, 23 minutes. If you watch us uh, from uh, North Mesa and you drive in on the 202 Red Mountain Freeway, we've got slowing in Phoenix as well as in North Tempe. The Ahwatukee commute looks like this. Ray Road to downtown Phoenix, 21 minute drive time right now. All right, thank you. You might know someone who's all about sports, and maybe they've had a collection of sports cards in the past or do now. Well, a new shop in Phoenix hopes to bring back that experience. It's called Rip Valley, and it was created by a self-described group of fanatical and obsessed sports card junkies. So Kylie is at Roosevelt Road talking with the co-founders of them about their new culture shop, and uh, hopefully they're finding a lot of favorites, and maybe you are too. They are schooling me, and I will say this is really fascinating. Growing up, you know, my brother and dad had cards, but I never knew cards were worth thousands and thousands, if not millions of dollars. So I've got Kyler Murray's card here. Back in the day, this was worth over $1,000. Now, it's kind of like the stock market. It's taken a little bit of a plunge, and it's cyclical, right? It goes kind of up and down because he's hurt. So we want to talk to the guys that know a lot more about this than me. This is Jordan and Brandon here at Rip Valley. It is opening up very soon. Roosevelt in second. Good morning, and thank Thanks for having me. Good morning. So let's talk a little bit about these cards and why do you think people are so fascinated with cards? Um, it's nostalgic. Uh, a lot of us collect as kids and um, it is sort of, it, it gives you an interest in watching the game more too. You watch your favorite players and um, you have what we call PCs. So someone that is your local player, your favorite player, you collect him specifically. So really just the sport and the nostalgia of it. And, and also it is, you know, it's a hobby, but there is, 
There's money oh, involved. There's, there's a lot of money. Okay, Brandon, I want to bring you in. I was looking at the cards here. This one is the most expensive. How much is it, and why is it that much? Yeah, so that that is uh, about a fifteen thousand dollar card. Um, it, it's expensive because it's a one on one, right? So th that's the only card like that in existence. And the, you know, in the hobby, they call it the Logo Man, which it literally has a piece on the of a of his jersey, the logo from his jersey on the card that they cut out, put it on the card. Of course, he's in the Valley jersey. It's a one on one, so. Really unique card, and obviously locally, Devin Booker's a star, nationally becoming a star, and so it's a really cool card. You just have these out. Do we lock these up? I want to make sure these are locked up. Do no, you have a we, system? <laughs> we set them out front every night, and you know, depending take them. on you know who's 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 around the neighborhood. No, for sure. So, as Brandon said, I mean, there, there's a lot of money in a lot in a lot of these cards, and uh, you know, as they, as he said, they go up and down, but uh, yeah, they're they're certainly secured. Uh, uh, every night when we leave. So we're going to take a little walk around as we maneuver. So they're still getting stuff in, but they're going to have a lot of merchandise here, some sneakers, apparel. What's this area right here? Yeah, so this is our lounge area. And as you can see, you know, we are in the Arts District in Roosevelt Row and very much uh, sort of leaning into that. I, I'm a big fan of the arts, of course. And that that painting on the end that you can see, the, the one that we did with Devin Booker and Chris Paul, it's a collaboration. I have to give a shout out to my daughter who actually designed that whole print. And then we partnered with Randy Slack, a local artist to bring that to life so this is really a gallery meets a lounge so people can sit and watch games you know they can obviously rip sports cards they can trade kind of all things sports okay let's talk about ripping sports cards or is it ripping or breaking either or one, both either because or. you came yeah. in and you said this is the break room and I'm like oh is this where you chill and yeah, you know yeah. get some water and you're like no yeah. a lot happens here in this boardroom walk me through what these guys are doing right now yeah so so Brandon built a, an entire business online starting in 2016 you know, breaking product, right? So he'll go out and buy cases of product, he'll sell various teams, and then he'll rip the box live online and people will watch, they'll stream in, etc. And so effectively what you're doing is you're, you're buying your team or your player or you're buying an entire box and it's entertainment, right? And you can ultimately hit a really big card. And so we have this flawless case that's sitting out here. That's a, that, that's a $20,000 case unopened, but you could theoretically, if you hit one of the biggest handful of cards, you could hit a seven figure card in that product. So it's you know, there's a there's certainly a gambling element to it as far as you could hit nothing, you could make a lot of money. But there's you know, there's an entertainment value and this is where we do a lot of that and obviously a lot of that's done online as well. Okay, come visit him again, Rip Valley. I will say, even if you're not into it, just come talk to him because my mind has been blown. It's been really fascinating. They're gonna open up very soon, just waiting on permits, should be open up in the next week or two. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Very cool. I don't know much about the card game, but they throw around a lot of money, right, don't exactly. they? Exactly. Yeah. In today's Finding Forever, uh, we try to pair kids uh, eligible for adoption with loving families, and today you'll meet a young man who really loves dogs. And what a treat for him. He got to see some of the hardest working dogs out there with Phoenix PD's K-9 unit, so here's Ian with that story. Oh, oh good yeah, boy. There you go. Officer Lisa Fisher and Chris Villa gave 13-year-old Julian a very special tour of what they do each day with the Phoenix Police Department. Yeah, the SUVs were cool. That right there is our whole control center. But Julian was all about the dogs. Of it, like, listen for commands. I guess most dogs don't. He loves dogs and probably mentioned it 10 times in the interview. But he really likes seeing how these police dogs did their thing. Here, just grab that handle. He's a lot stronger than you would think, right? He even got to see some training in the bite suit. Oh! He just won student of the month at his school, um, which he's really excited about and really proud about. Josie Gage with Ask, the foster care agency that we work with, says Julian is a good student with a great personality. Good parents that want, like, treat you fair, like, everything, like with everybody else. He says he's not too picky when it comes to future families, just one that will treat him the way he and all children deserve to be treated. Really just has a great heart, really wants to help those around him and make the world a better place. Josie said he would make a great great addition to any family any family especially if they have dogs in Ian Schwartz for Arizona's family a cool experience and thank you hey, if you recently went through a breakup and you feel a little bad blood Taylor Swift knows just how you feel the new Swift themed venue for the newly single K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers.
For a limited time, get a heating system rejuvenation for just $129. Rejuvenation involves a complete system inspection. And we clean the outside coils the right way, not the easy way. Rejuvenation, G-O-E-T-T-L. Thinking about selling your home in today's more challenging market? Well, you don't have to let it sit for weeks or months trying to sell it the traditional way. It's 72 sold. You can get a price thousands more than if you sold the traditional way and get it done A to Z in just eight days. Thinking about selling? Just put in your address and get your price, a higher price for your home in just eight days, only at 72sold.com. Discover more play for all at Harris Auk Chin Casino. Thanks, Bo. What are your dreams? Where having fun means racking up reward credits with the Caesars Rewards Loyalty Program. They could be redeemed for food, free play, hotel stays, and more. Not only here in the city of Maricopa, but also at more than 50 Caesars properties coast to coast. From Harris, Las Vegas, the Caesars Palace and Play for all at Harris Ok Chin Casino, the official sponsor of play. How to train certified technicians. Is that important? Well, you wouldn't hire just anyone to help you move, would you? This shortcut saves two hours easy. Please, dude! <laughs> no. Of course not. <laughs> Not again. Toyota Service Centers. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. At Wells Fargo, direct deposits come up to two days early with early payday. What if everything came two days early? Have a good weekend, Mary. All right, now. Have a good weekend. But it's Wednesday. See you Monday. I miss it. It's the weekend, baby. See you later. Like getting things two days early? When it comes to payday, you can with Wells Fargo. What are you doing this weekend? One day, I will rock that swimsuit. Your one day is closer than you think. From fresh meals to one-on-one -on -one coaching, Jenny Craig is weight loss made simple. Your one day starts today. First Alert Weather app is now available on your phone. Just grab your phone, visit your app store, and download it for free. Well, if your life seems more like a Taylor Swift breakup mm -hmm. song and you're feeling bad blood this Valentine's Day, perhaps you need to make your way to this Chicago pop-up venue. Yeah, it's one way to get a message across if you want to break up, too, right? It opens January 27th through February 26th. There you Misery go. Loves That's company. how you do That's it, I guess. Fact. I guess so. We'll be right back. When you need to replace your windows and doors, do it once with Lifetime Windows and Doors. Enjoy $285 off each window, $650 off each door, and 24 months, same as cash financing. Call 480-400-8000 now for a free, accurate estimate. Plumbing repair. Same business, same excellent service. One name, Penguin. Does your kitchen, sink, bathtub, or shower not drain properly? Call Penguin Plumbing for fast, affordable, and professional drain cleaning services for only $45. Quality plumbing service is backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. We inspect and clear your drain. If a repair is needed, we waive the service fee. That's how we roll. Visit us online at penguinair.com or call us today at 480-747-6801 to clear any drain and get back to enjoying your day. Phoenix Union is hiring. Join the most progressive portfolio district in the country. Teacher pay starts at over 50 and support staff start at $16 an hour. We have great pay, benefits packages, and a staff health and wellness department. PXU believes in the overall well-being of our employees. Join us for our job fair on Saturday, January 28th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Central High School. Apply today at pxu.org slash jobs. We protect your house. Your car. We need to keep our energy up. I want to take me to because we know they're the launching pad to their dreams. 
And now you can save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto. American Family Insurance. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. When I decided to go ahead with Window World, you know, we talked about the lifetime warranty, and I was very pleased with that because I plan on being here until I go out feet first. <laughs> During the installation, I followed them around from window to window. It was just amazing to me how fast and efficient they were. There was no dawdling around. They, they got the job done. Window World, simply the best for definitely less. I should be seeing red right now. I was on my way to the gym when I was struck by a two-ton truck. I mean, I could take a hit, but that's way over my weight class. Now it's physical therapy and dealing with the insurance companies. I should be seeing red, but I've got Goldberg and Osborne in my corner. They really know the ropes, finding doctors, managing medical bills, and getting the most money possible. Just call 1-800-THE-EAGLE and get a free case review. I should be seeing red, but I've got Goldberg and Osborne. After any accident, go with Goldberg and Osborne. 1-800-THE-EAGLE. When you need to upgrade the bathrooms in your home, do it once with Lifetime Bath & Shower. Enjoy $1,500 off your next bath project and payments as low as $111 a month. Call 480-400-8000 now for a free, accurate estimate. From your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3TV.